back aboard a Paws Animal Shelter for another edition of Pet Project. And we have a returnee on um, our segment today, uh, Boomer. We have done Boomer at the old shelter. Um, she was brought back. Tell me a little bit about her story and kind of how she's doing now. Yeah, so Boomer came to us last summer and then we had her for quite some time. And then in the fall, she got adopted. But, and she left for about three months, but I'm not really sure what happened. I guess it just wasn't the right fit. Mm -hmm. um, she's about eight years old, so yeah, she came back to us. She's not really thriving in the shelter, though, so if anybody was interested in foster to adopt, we would definitely do a foster to adopt with her, just so you can kind of feel it out and see how it goes. Mm -hmm. um, she is getting quite skinny, so I think she's more comfortable. Some cats just thrive in a foster home, yeah. right? I mean, they don't want to eat here. It's kind of depressing and all that. So we would love to get her into a foster to adopt, and that way if it doesn't work out, you're not making any commitment. Yeah. You can bring her back if it doesn't work. Um, so yeah, no, she's a really sweet girl. She just wants to kind of lay with you and cuddle. Mm -hmm. And you know, she's not super playful. She's an older gal, like I said, about eight years old. So, but yeah, if anybody is interested in even just giving her a foster home for the time being, mm -hmm. definitely reach out and we can get that going. Now, I know that, you know, she's not doing too great here, but besides that, what is her personality like when she is, you know, in a thriving situation? Yeah, so she's quite the sweetheart, right? Um, like I said, she doesn't really play much. Um, um, but yeah, she's just kind of looking for a lap or, you know, a couch to lay on where she can just relax and, you know, be the senior little old lady that yeah. she is. But she's very sweet and she doesn't seem to really mind the other animals. I mean, we haven't put her in. I mean, I think she would prefer to be an only cat. But I mean, if you want, because it's foster to adopt, if you do have other animals, then we can kind of see how she would do. I think as long as the other animals left her alone, she would be fine. I don't think she would do good with like kittens um as well as uh like you know younger dogs mm -hmm. but i think an older dog an older cat she would be fine because she's quite a sweet girl and she just kind of wants to hang around so and i do think she would be good with all ages oh perfect um we have quite a bit of young uh volunteers that come in with their parents you know under five mm -hmm. and she does really good with the kids so i don't think there would be any issues with kids at all kids of any age so that's perfect and that was actually my next question <laughs> so that it's great that she'd be fine you know in pretty much any environment you just have to adjust she just needs an adjustment period which I think fostering to adopt would be the perfect scenario Absolutely. for her um, now over the weekend you had your microchipping event finally <laughs> um, tell me how that went and how many people showed up and how the barbecue went and all that fun stuff yeah so it was a great weekend I mean the weather was pretty good it was a little hot but yeah before we even opened the doors at 11 we had already had eight people lined up outside, so it was really good. We got 18 animals microchipped, so that's 18 animals. Hopefully, Perfect. if they ever get out, we can reunite them faster. And everybody who came and got microchipped went and got a chip and a pop and a hot dog, so it went really good. There was quite a bit of people who stopped by for the barbecue to show support for that, as well as, like I said, we had 18 animals, so I mean, that's pretty good. Given the weekend, right, a lot of people mm -hmm. were gone that weekend, so we're hoping to do it again um, yeah. probably in the fall, maybe September, do it again when everybody's kind of back from vacation, and then that way, even if we can do it every couple of months and get 18 yeah. animals done each time, I mean, we're making a huge difference, exactly. right? So, yeah. no, it was really good. It was a lot of fun. That's awesome, and this is definitely the type of, of an event that you do multiple times throughout the year because yes. it's just you know it's a way for you guys to raise money but it's also a way for um, owners of pets to get that discount on the microchipping so that you know if they in the event that they do lose their animal it'll be a lot easier to reunite them exactly right I mean it's a win-win for everybody because you get your hand it you get your animal done at a cheaper price and then when they come in we can call you right away and yeah. your animal doesn't have to sit for you know three or four days by the time you realize they're here we can call you and also not just us like you know, if they end up jumping a train and ending up in a different town or something I've seen it on the news they get reunited so okay. it's just a great thing for people to have and it also just kind of takes a relief off of the, all the shelters and now you have another adoption event uh, tell me a little bit about what that is, where it is, and what people should know about it. Yeah, so we are doing one at Pet Value this weekend, I believe from 1 to 4. Um, we're probably only going to have cats at that one just because we're actually down to one puppy. 
right now. Which is good. So, yeah, we got all the puppies adopted at our Pet Smart adoption event. So that's really nice to see. So we're going to have some kittens as well as probably a few special cases like maybe Boomer and you know Jenga the Bengal. Yes. We're going to bring him so he can get a bit of exposure. So yeah, no, it'll be one to four at Pet Value and we should have a bunch of cats there as well as kittens. So come on and visit the kittens and maybe you'll end up finding your forever baby. Which would be very exciting. Absolutely. Uh, now, same question as every week. Is there any donations that you're in need of? So again, I feel like I'm on repeat. <laughs> um, but again, actually, we've got our washing machine working. So Perfect. we're doing good on blankets. But again, we can always use them. We can mm -hmm. never have enough. But yeah, again, uh, kitten food. We're seeing, obviously, a lot of kittens coming through the door. Mm -hmm. So wet, kibble, anything like that. As well as toys. We go through a lot of cat toys, as well as dog toys, but mainly cat toys. We can always use more of that because they seem to throw them out of the cage sometimes and lose <laughs> them and stuff or break them. So yeah, I mean, you can even go to the dollar store. They've got a great selection too as well as our Amazon wish list yes. you can always go to and see what we have there awesome well hopefully uh, this gets boomer out of here and into a her forever home or at least a temporary home till she finds her real home so she can you know hopefully come out of her shell a little bit more and thrive in a better environment Absolutely. for her so thank you for joining me and hopefully hopefully something happens with boomer thank you